The time has come. Today we take the shears. We go to the sheep. Da, 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 da. We take the wool. We remember that I moved the crafting bench. Where did I move the crafting bench to? Is it? Did I put it in the toolsmith's house? I think I did. We make a bed. We go to the mason's house. We place the bed. Right, so that is mission number one done for the day. Mission number two, how much iron do I actually have on me? Because I don't think I have that much. Uh, wait, that's copper. I might not even have any. I've got an iron pickaxe. I don't actually think I've got any ingots. Oh, I've got four ingots. That is perfect that's almost exactly what i need actually i think i need three how about that so i am going to make a blast furnace why am i going to make a blast furnace because i want an armorer not an armorer a weaponsmith one of them is made by a blast furnace it's either an armorer or a weaponsmith i can't remember off the top of my head now but in order to make a blast furnace, I need three bits of iron, three iron ingots, and I couldn't remember whether or not I had enough iron on me, but it turns out I do, which is good. Now I just need to remember what the rest of the recipe is. So let's go back to the crafting bench. Hey guys, and have you a look-see if the bookie will tell me. Right, so uh, blast, no, it's not going to tell me. Dang it! I gotta remember. I know it's three iron ingots. I can't remember the rest of the recipe off the top of my head. I know, alright, it's so a three iron ingots, it's a furnace. Three iron ingots. Is that? No, a smoker and a blast furnace are different things. Uh, it's definitely a furnace. It's three iron ingots. What's the rest of the recipe? I am gonna have to Google this. Right, we're Googling it. Hang on a minute. Right. Da, 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 da. Open Google. Minecraft Blast Furnace. Right. I must have looked it up recently because it was in my autocorrect. Right. Right. It's four iron ingots. I said three. So I actually need four iron ingots. So I, I have enough iron ingots. A blast furnace. Uh, a furnace furnace. And three blocks of... Uh, smooth stone which is going to be that's going to be a lot of coal <laughs> that we're going to have to cook there so oh for the love of pete but, but no you, i'm gonna have to put my bed in its own room guys with like an iron door it will be worth the use of the iron so i'm actually going to need four iron ingots so let's grab that last iron ingot that was in here and I think, I might be wrong here, but I think in order to make the snow, uh, the snow? Huh? In order to make the stone, I'm going to need to cook that and then cook it again. And that should make the stone that we need. So we'll leave that cooking and I'll go, while that's cooking, I'll go and make the furnace. We 
which is that. And then that should be all we need. We'll go and grab the stone. Now it has just occurred to me that there is a furnace in the toolsmith's house, so I could have built it up there, but <laughs> right. Uh, so we now cook that again. And I think that makes what we need. I'm going from memory. My memory's not always the most reliable. Hey, look at me being correct about something. Okay. You might also have noticed, so I did a little bit of off camera work last night to like build up my emeralds and stuff. And the other thing I did was um, I realized that I've had my, uh, I've got a, a, a mod here, which is actually, it's called Silent Villagers Idol, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It, it silences the villagers. So I've switched that off for a little bit. So all of my villagers are now harring and humming to their heart's content. We'll see how long it takes for me to get annoyed by that. <laughs> Whether or not that mod gets switched back on. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like hearing the villagers going, ha, he, ha. Or if you'd rather I put that mod back on. Okay, blast furnace time. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Uh oh. Is it five ingots, not four? It might be five ingots, not four. One, two, three. Oh, no, it's five ingots. Ah! No! I don't have five iron ingots. Can you... Right. Hang on. We might We might have a way around this. Can you... <laughs> I can't believe I'm, I'm actually considering this. I'm actually considering this as an option. Can you smelt our shears no darn okay because we would have had a renewable source of iron if we could do that uh okay dang it <laughs> the blast furnace has been cancelled uh Right, what's happening here is me realising that I can't count to five. We've got iron bars. Why do we have iron bars but not... Can these be smelted down? I don't know. I doubt we'll get enough for an ingot from them. Nope. Okay. So... Cancel that plan for a bit because I have no iron on me. I mean, we could, I suppose we could go, we could go into the hills, see if I can find some iron. So let's grab, I'm going to grab my iron pickaxe as well. Um, I've got plenty of food on me, so we'll take the bed with us. And we're going into the hills. So have I got, I'll just make sure I've got space in my inventory actually. Okay. It's actually probably not a good idea for me to take the only iron ingots in my possession with me. So I'm going to drop those off uh, and I'll drop off the smooth stone and all that. Right, there's nothing else here that's really of value. Now, did is it along here that I've put the fence gate? It is. So we're going to go up into that mountain there. We'll see if we can find some iron. High ground did help us last time I needed iron, so let's hope that our luck continues. Right, getting up there is going to be half the fun. I did shut the fence gate, didn't I? Yes! Okay, we should come back to all of the villagers ice skating on the lake. I'm not so much worried about the villagers getting out, because they tend to be quite good at homing. My concern is things getting in with the fences. So we're up here now. Well, there's some coal there, so that's a good start, I suppose. Um, oh, there's a cow. Hey, you're like nice and close. I must remember you're there. This is where I find sheep. If I find if I find sheep on this hill, I'm gonna scream. All right. Okay, we've got to remember these two cows are here. That's useful. Right, and there's a wolf up there. Hey, Wolfie. 
It's okay, we can be friends now because I don't have any sheep with me. Right. So we'll just clean me, clean me up. Let's see what we find. Alright, okay. Ah, I fell. Woof! Yeah, yeah, you're laughing at me, aren't you? You're mocking me, aren't you? Right, okay. I'm coming up here now. And then up here. And... There's another dog. Another doggy. Right, okay, we're up. We are on the hill. So now, let's see if we can see any iron. Right, I've only got two torches, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I wasn't planning to go underground, but it'll just be my luck that there'll be iron down there. Let's see if I can see any. I mean, how, how high up are we now? We are 118. There's some coal there. So I could make some torches. So that's, uh, it looks like it's opening out down here. Aha, there we are. Ouch. Right, look at us being self-sufficient. So we're going to grab this coal and make some torches. Okay, that's 18 torches. So now we can explore this cave. Right, no iron in here. Lots of coal. Nope, I am out of luck. Okay, matters not. We'll carry on. It'll be the cave that I don't explore that's just like full of iron. So, carry on. I just need one, just one block of iron. Right. All I see is snow. So we're probably more likely to find it where there's like rocky, like rock face, I think. Sheep machine, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I am happy to see you. The baby bunny is happy to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I don't suppose you've got a block of iron on you. I am one ingot short of a blast furnace. keep going to host and forgetting it's not a thing anymore i do not understand the logic behind um twitch stopping hosting i mean i i want to know what their reasoning was what their argument was for it because hosting just seemed like such a good thing oh my god there's so many mobs in there this will be where i find iron won't it in this cave did i bring my shield with me Drove me a torch. Right, okay. Um, there's a zombie and a skeleton. Okay. So if I come down to here, just nice and slow. Can I see any iron? I can't see any iron. Are you coming up to say hello? You are. Okay, that's nice. Hello. Right, I'm going to eat. One down. Come and burn. Burn. Ow! No, no, not me. I don't want to burn. Thanks, mate. I'll just be up here then. Okay. It's a lot of copper. I can only really see copper. Ah! You're standing on it! Mean! It's 
skeleton. The one thing I seek, and you're standing on it. Ah, raw iron. Okay. Is that enough? One one block. I hope. Is one one block of raw iron enough to make an ingot? I think it is. We'll find out when we get to base and cook it. Right. Okay. That might be all I need. That might be mission accomplished. Uh, Y two three two and Y sixteen are your best bet. Okay. I thought it was, yeah, I was just thinking high ground, but yeah, we're only at Y60 here. They keep changing things, Sheepy. They keep changing the mechanics. I keep learning the mechanics and then they change them and I have to learn them again. And this has just got drowners written all over it, doesn't it? Right, okay. Ah! Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're up, we're up. Okay, I think that's all I need. Just that one ingot. And then all of our problems are over. So now we play the fun game called... Can anyone remember where the village is? I think it's that way. Okay. There's another cave there. Should we explore that on the way back? Oh, I say cave. It is a rod. Right. Uh, I'm going the right way, aren't I? Oh. <laughs> I may have I may I may have gone gone done a derp. Which way is home? I thought it was oh no there's a fence there. I can see a fence. Right. Fences tend not to spawn. <laughs> so that must be home. <laughs> okay. Phew. Uh oh, I should have done that, yeah. I should have mined around a bit. I think I'm going to have to have like a dedicated mining session where we just go to a cave and mine. Bring some snacks. But my goal for today was one iron ingot and I believe I have it. Why are you down here? I right, my I am concerned that you were down here because that kind of suggests that you jumped. So I hope you're not taking too much damage when you're doing that crazy thing. I did do some improvements to the uh, the wall there. But I'm starting to think that my better bet might just be to put some fences up. Ah! An iron ingot! Right, the blast furnace is back on, guys. So, let's... Uh... No, not you. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. That's because I was saying let's, uh, not Alexa. Um... <laughs> Let us. See, Alexa's trying to make me speak properly. She wants me speaking proper like. Boop. You could kill the iron golem for more iron. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I could. We could make an iron farm. Um, ah, oh, blast furnace. Right, okay, next. Let's find some unemployed villagers. Uh, right. Villagers, darlings, I have a question. Where are you? Right, you're an unemployed villager. Would you like to be an armorer? Excuse me. Oh, actually, are you an unemployed villager? You appear to be employed. You're the toolsmith. Have I got more than one toolsmith? Or are you just a very adventurous toolsmith? No, you are the same toolsmith because you're setting the bell. Right, you're a nitwit. So let's uh, carry on up. But is there anyone in snow escape? 
Uh, hello, you appear to be unemployed. Would you like to be a, uh, an armourer? Excellent. Okay, now follow me. Follow me. Right, all right. You're not... We're not... Hang on, no. I need you to... Right. Okay, we'll try this again. So, I'm going to place it here. Come up to it. I think it has to be in their line of sight. Okay. No, I, you can't go in there, dude. Right, okay. Now follow me down the stairs. No, 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 that's not down the stairs. That's the complete opposite of going down the stairs. I need you to come down the stairs. That's it. Now come down to here. All right, come down to here. That's it. Keep coming. You're doing great. You're doing an amazing job. Excellent. Now, now come around to here. No, no, no. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Great progress. Okay. And now up to here. Up to here. Marvellous. And now to here. Great. Good progress here. And now I need you down in here. Down to here. Down to here. That's it. That's it. Thank you for using the path. Okay. Carry on. Through here. This is where it's going to start to get... Right. Oh, there you are. Right. I know. I need you... I need you to come into this room here. Can you... Can you... Can you... No. Am I going to have to encourage you down here? Right. You need to be able to see it, don't you? Right, I need you to go down the steps and I need you to see that furnace through the door. No, right, it would help if your friend there didn't shut the door, but we can't. All right, okay, this is great. You're in the right, you're in the room. This is a good start. Now I'm going to I'm going to have the blast furnace out here. So let's put it out here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, you live here now. Okay, so now I need to shut you in here so that you'll do the bed. Do I have a fence? Right. I'm going to shut you in there because I'm going to give you a bed that I want you to use. We're making good progress here. Right. Let's go make another bed. Have I got... Oh, I've only got two bits of wool on me. Gonna have an armourer. I think it's armourer. It might be weaponsmith. I can't remember. They're making a baby. Are they making a baby? Are we gonna have more babies? Yeah. 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 Denied. Okay. Uh, got the shears on me. I might make another sheep actually. Seeing as I was, seeing as I was denied a baby villager, I'm gonna make a, a baby sheep. Look out. No, you can can I can I can I go through the door, please? Thank you. Right. So let's do that. That gave me two bits of two bits of wheat. Right. Maka baba. Hey, I got an advancement for that. The parrots and the bats. Nice. Right. So we're gonna make another bed for our armorer. I think he's. I'm pretty sure he's an armorer. Babies! I know, baby sheep. Ah, uh, you gotta, you gotta have baby animals in life, you know. Right. Now. His bed can go there. Alright, so let's see let's see what you are. You're the toolsmith. Right, you're who I need to speak to. 
Armourer, right, so you'll do... Oh, iron leggings. Have I got iron leggings? No, I've got gold leggings. Right, that's that's a pretty good trade. Yeah, we'll want, we'll want some of that, thanking you. Uh, not so sure about coal for emeralds, but I can definitely do um, seven emeralds for some leggings. So we will, we will talk, my friend. Can I then smelt those leggings down? We might have just found our iron farm. Hang on. I gotta try this. I gotta try this theory, guys. Right, let's uh steal my bed back. Oh yo, yeah, I still have I have the bed on me. Ha ha <laughs> My bed now. And I'm gonna put it right up. I just heard a villager take damage. Who took damage? Definitely just heard a villager take damage. Right, I'm going to put my bed right up here at the back. See if I can find it up here. Right. Using the window that's oddly adorable and also a bit concerning because it means that because this guy likes to keep everything open because villagers she could probably get out if she wanted to <laughs> the important thing is that she's happy right I might have to I might have to put a bar on that window Hang on, let's, uh, <laughs> we're going to have to child gate the window. Hang on. Right, is she, is she back out in the field? Right, go out there. Go out there. And shut, no, no, go out the window. That's it. Boom. Right, I have child proofed the window. Right, why can I hear a villager but not see a villager? Oh, there's why. Why are you hanging out? Why are you hanging out around here? This seems a really odd place to hang out. But, okay, to each their own. Um, okay, they're all socializing. So let us grab the emeralds. I'm going to do an experiment. Right, he should have localized on that bed now, so I can take this out. Right. Greetings. Now, question. If I, I give you seven of these, you give me that's a that's a flower. You give me one of those. So I'm going to take two off you. Because I want to wear one as well. Right, so I'm gonna put those on. Look at me looking all dapper there in my iron armour. And now <laughs> I'm going to see. I have a theory, and if it's correct. Oh my god. Guys, that's renewable iron. I mean, an iron nugget. So I think it's like nine iron nuggets for. Uh, it's uh, I think it, I think it's nine iron nuggets for an ingot but that is <laughs> an avenue that is open to us <laughs> is we just buy like nine pairs of iron leggings and smelt them to make an ingot that is now an avenue that is open to us so it's an insane avenue, but it's an avenue nonetheless. Um, I mean, I want to get this guy leveled up anyway, so we, we'll buy two more, two more iron leggings from him, and that's all my emeralds now. That's insane. That's insane. Renewable iron for for days. So 
I mean, I would, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a grinder. I play Warframe for crying out loud. If there's one thing I can do, it is just the slow, methodical, slow, methodical, just going backwards and forwards, making iron ingots out of, out of leggings. It is the most inefficient iron farm ever. I have actually outdone myself from the iron farm that I made on Pillow Fort Season 2, um, <laughs> which was like the slowest iron farm known to man. Oh, wow. I have made the world's most inefficient iron farm and it is an armor on the second floor. Right, now, question. I heard a villager take damage just now. Did they take damage here? I think I'm just going to have to fence. I think I'm just going to have to build a fence up there. So, I've got fences on me. I think what I'm going to have to do... Yes. Yes. <laughs> Great. I'm out of fences. We made a start though at least. So I'm just going to build a fence all the way around here I think. We'll add that. We'll add that to the to-do list. Right, we've made Mason a bed, so we want to fence the second level. Uh, and last thing I want to do now is we're going to cook that and cook it again. Actually, no, we're going to need three because I need to make a slab. We're going to make a grinding stone. Because I think that makes the final smith. Can I remember what a grinding stone is? I want to say, uh, it's like, isn't it a slab, sticks and planks? A grinding stone. I don't know if you can hear those bells in the uh, in the microphone. I think someone just got married. Yay! Seems an odd day to get married, a Friday, but, you know. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do... Is we're going to eat the dead up. Now, I think a grindstone is slabs. So, we'll turn that into slabs. Any recipes unlocked? Is one of them a grindstone? It might actually be easy to just type in here, wouldn't it? No. Have I made the wrong kind of stone? Uh, hang on. Right, we, we return to Google. So, Minecraft. Grindstone. It is a grindstone. It is a grindstone for a... Two sticks, one stone slab. Right, I think I've made the wrong kind of. I think I think I've made the wrong kind of grind. The wrong kind of stone slab. Yeah, I have. I've made the wrong kind of stone slab. That's a smooth stone slab. It's the other stone slab. Why are there green dots everywhere? <laughs> okay. We return to... I think I'm just going to have to take some coal upstairs so that I can use their furnace. So we're going to take some... We're going to take some charcoal from here. Because otherwise I'm running around too much. God, there's villagers everywhere up here. It must be the meeting time of day. Okay. Boop. Actually, we're going to... What I'm going to do... I'm going to take down that torch. I'm going to move it to there. And I'm going to put 
let's 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 you know let's do this because that that's that's uh that's kind of fixed the uh the problem and it's also made it look a bit prettier out here so what i'm gonna do is we'll do three of those and apparently you can't do that in a blast furnace okay so three of those Welcome to Watching Stone Cook with Jandoncom. This is the best thing on Twitch and YouTube, <laughs> depending on your viewing preference. Okay. That is the kind of stone slab I want. And then I think it's as simple as that. Yes! Grindstone! Okay. I require an unemployed villager. Do we have any unemployed villagers? Right. You appear to be an unemployed. No, you're, you're employed. You're a nitwit. You're a farmer. Do I not... Are you employed? Yes, you're a toolsmith. Um... Okay. Oh, sugar. Mason is still shut in the house. I better free him at some point. Let's free him before the sun goes down. He should have he should have localized on that bed by now. Sorry, Mason. You 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 you're out of prison now. How's life in here? See, he's he's on the bed. Excellent. Right. Uh, I better go and use my bed because the sun is going down, and then we'll begin our search for an. Un We've definitely got unemployed villagers around here. Right. There's some down here. Excuse me, unemployed villager. Would you like to be whatever this turns you into? I think it's a weaponsmith. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sure your conversation with the farmer is on the roof is very interesting, but could you come over here, please? Okay. Try again. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Now I need you to I need you to I need you to follow it. Please. Come on. I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to right, you've lost your job to someone else now. You had your chance. Right, okay. You snooze, you lose. Now I need I need you to come over here now. I think this is actually a third villager now. So <laughs> we we're, we're through the in, we're through to the interview stage. <laughs> Just okay. Come on, dude. I'll get you up the stairs. Excellent. And then you're gonna have to come up here now. Great. Will you come up here? Excellent. Right. I'm glad that breaking their apparently in Bedrock Edition breaking their um their uh, station causes them to be angry with you, but this is Java Edition, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> right, he's coming up. Woo! Okay, don't stand on it, dude. I'm gonna break it. Right. Okay. Now come this way. Keep coming. This is the other smith. He's going to be your roommate. He's the armorer. Right. And now down here. Perfect. And now going to need you to come through the door. And I'm going to put your stone there. Right, you're gonna have to come down from the roof, dude. That's it. Go on through the door. Through the door. Yay! Got ourselves an armorer. Right, and now, uh, once again, shutting you in there. Let's make it our third bed of the day. 
and then we'll have a look at what trades he has. Okay. Hello, sheep. I see your feather sheep grew up already. They grew up so fast. Right. So we're going to make a bed. I think if nothing else, I think I'm going to have to invest in some splash potions of healing. Because I'm sure some of these villagers have taken like quite a lot of damage. I think, do they heal though? Like if they're, did we, did we ascertain whether or not they heal in their sleep? If I put three beds together like that, are they all going to be able to use them? It's very cosy. You're all you're all going to have to be really good friends in here. Right, let's see what trades you have. Oh, have I shut... No, you are all in here. Okay, all three of you are in here? Good, because I've shut the gate. Right, what trades do you have? A uh, sword with smite and looting for 21 emeralds. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, let's see if we can get... I, I love you lots, but let's see if we can get a better trade from you shall we right i need you to move right okay no all right 11 emeralds that's better fire aspect and sharpness we'll do it we'll do that yeah that that we will keep okay um while i'm stuck in here with you guys shall we make some furniture I haven't really made any room for furniture in here, have I? I suppose we could put like a little, like, just like, if we put some wool there. Mm, no, that's not going to look how I thought it would look. So let's take that up. Look, if we put some half slabs down there. And then a sign there. Mm, no, that's not working. Uh, half slabs do look good there though but would the half slabs work better as a shelf i think they do i think they work better as a shelf hey mirror uh they heal when the one of their trades is maxed or something like that villagers gain 10 seconds of regeneration when new trades are unlocked in bedrock edition villagers recover health when waking from bed every morning okay so i just got to trade with them i can do that right that's looking good. I like I like that as a shelving unit. And then we got the grindstone there. I kind of don't want to. I don't want to. I should have really put the grindstone there, but I don't want to break it now. Um, let's make a some stone steppies and just give you a little seat. And we'll have another little seat there, and another little seat there because there's three of you, so you can all have a sit down and a chat in the evenings. And a nice cosy bed. I did not expect. I, I was not planning for three people to be living here when I made this house. So I hope you're all like really, really good friends because that's the bed. Unless I extend the bedroom. I suppose I could extend the bedroom into the mountain. That's the other option. But you know what? I think it's working. I think it's working. I, th I think you can use the beds when they're like that. So we got a pretty good sword there which we could get the emeralds for now so let's just break out a second so we're going to need sticks so let's just turn all of that wood we're carrying into sticks we're going to need considerably more sticks than that actually i might kill i might actually go and kill a couple of trees um <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like we're limited to. Um... So when you when you've maxed out a villager, then they can't heal anymore. Um, a beacon pyramid could give them all regen. Would mean fighting a wither though. Hmm. That's that's gonna have to be uh, an end. I mean, I'm gonna have to fight a wither at some point because I'm gonna need that advancement. So we can definitely. That's not not on the cards. <laughs> But it's not going to be something that I do tomorrow. <laughs> right, so we're going to 
make we're just making sticks now and then we're going to trade with our friend the Fletcher who's run off where is he is that him there are you at the f uh, uh, no no don't go up there I need you down here where are you going he's going to the bell isn't he right this is not an official path to the bell. Right, hello. Uh, I've got five emeralds there. I need 11. No, a beacon, I mean, a beacon would be the way forward. We could get a regen beacon around here, but that is that is very, very end game stuff we're talking. I think I think at the moment prevention prevention is better than the cure. Okay. Woo! Now, has the Fletcher survived the trip back? from the oh god look at them up there oh my god they just I do wonder if you've actually gone through like farmers without realising <laughs> okay up we get now where's my Fletcher gone he's up there isn't he why are you all the way up here, dude? Right. You're the toolsmith. Where's the Fletcher? There he is. Right, Fletcher, come here. I'm, you've lowered your prices. That's lovely. Thank you for doing that. That's really good of you. Uh, right, that's eight emeralds. Uh, right, the sun's going down, so I'm going to head over to the house in a minute. Hang on. Is that the mason? Right, that's the mason. I was like, hang on a minute, isn't that the toolsmith? I always get the toolsmith and the mason mixed up, which is weird because they look completely different. Right, let's go see if these, right, he's out here now. Does that mean he can't use the bed? Can you not use the bed, dude? Well, someone's gonna have to use the bed. Okay, I might have to I might have to organise the bedroom in here then. So what we need to do is give you guys a bit more room. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm demolishing your house. Don't worry. There is a plan here. So, we're going to... I'm going to need some tools. <laughs> we're going to need that. I'm not going to worry about making it pretty for now. We're just making it practical. That's why I find iron. You wait. We're just extending your room into the mountain a little bit. There we go. And I have no planks on me unless I turn this into planks. There we go. That's 13 planks. I only need nine. How about that? So... We'll just give you a, a floor. So it at least looks like it's part of the house. Okay. And then we're going to put a bed there and a bed there. Oh, well, that's uh, not good. And we'll put a bed there. Uh, and torches because light. Right, so he's going to be, he's not going to be trading with me now. 
did you get in here? Right. Yeah, his prices have all gone up. <laughs> Those are different trades to what he had before. Hang on. Why have your trades changed? Because he had, he was doing um, tools before. This is a different toolsmith. Because the other tool, the toolsmith, the toolsmith was unlocked on like second level because he was doing like a bed and stuff unless he's gone no they won't go down a level because i punched him would he i think this is a different toolsmith i reckon we're a toolsmith down so the other toolsmith must have died now is this iron golem angry with me no, I'd be dead by now if he was angry with me. Hi. Um, I think we're a toolsmith down, guys. That is definitely not the toolsmith that we had at the beginning of the level because he he had a bed unlocked. So unless me punching him means that he loses a level, although I don't see how that could happen. I think we're we're we 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 lost a toolsmith and then another villager took his station. Unless that's him there. There you are. So I've got two toolsmiths, but that means you're sharing. Doesn't that mean you're sharing a station? Because I've only got one toolsmith station, haven't I? Unless there's one hiding up here. Oh, I bet. I bet what happened. Did he lose the station because I put the fence up? Right, I've now got more than one toolsmith and I'm really confused. Because I thought... You could only have one villager per workstation. I've only got one toolsmith workstation, so how have I suddenly got two toolsmiths? Is it... Plus, it's very crowded in here now. Right, I'm just going to break this fence. You know, if they're using a different bed, it's not the end of the world. As long as they have a bed. Um, so I'm very confused, but at least that, I mean, in some ways that's good because it means we haven't lost the, uh, the bell toolsmith. I'm just, don't understand how I suddenly have two toolsmiths. <laughs> oh my God, that is so weird. I thought it was one, to one villager per station. I mean, he's unlocked, so maybe the station, maybe he lost, it, he might have, ah, oh, I wonder if, I wonder if for whatever reason he couldn't see his station, so he lost the station, but because he's unlocked, he stayed as a toolsmith. Is that how it works? feeling right now huh. what's going on how how do i have two toolsmiths i'm gonna have to google this i'm realizing how much i don't understand village mechanics anyway the important thing so the important thing to take away from today regardless of whether or not our toolsmith situation is ridiculous is we have a toolsmith here that hates me but that's fine we've got an armor a, a weaponsmith sorry who also hates me Oh, I bet they all hate me because I... Oh, he doesn't hate me because he didn't see what happened. He witnessed the whole thing. So he hates me. Um, but I'm going to get some more emeralds. We're going we're gonna to get that sword and lock his, lock his trade in before we finish for the day. They will eventually stop hating me, I think. As long as I trade with them. Or deliberately, deliberately trigger a pillager event and then save them from it. Which could 
also be an option. Hey, there's a babby! I heard babby noises. Where is where is babby villager hiding? Hello, babby villager. Life continues. Right, so let's run up here and kill some trees. Did I grab an axe? Uh, nope, I grabbed everything I need except an axe. Or turn them into a zombie. Yeah, I could also turn them into a zombie and then free them from their torment. This, this is also an option. There are lots of things we could do. There are lots of things we could do to stop him from being angry with me. But sometimes, sometimes it's best to just let these things blow over. You know, just time heals all wounds. Okay, that's going to be two, three emeralds. How many do I need? Twelve. It was 11, and then I punched him. <laughs> and then I punched his friend. In my defence, his friend got in the way of my fist, okay? I mean, that is literally what happened. His friend literally got in the way of my fist. It's not my fault. I do not take responsibility for injury to that villager. And then he stole my toolsmith's workstation. So my toolsmith is wandering around homeless now. I think I'm going to have to put a fourth bed in that house. He ran into my fist ten times. He did. He ran into my fist ten times. Okay. It's not my fault. I do not accept responsibility for this injury. Right. That's the shepherd, isn't it? Yeah, you're the shepherd. Hi, shepherd. Right, let's find the Fletcher. He's out and about again. My God, they're all up there. I'm. They're all up there by that bell. This is the. That's. They just love hanging out. I need to move that bell. Right, Fletcher. Needy emeralds from you. Thank you. Right, that's thirteen. You're close to unlocking, actually. You're, you're nearly at your next level. <gasps> it was his fault, officer. He hugged my fist. It was. It was his fault. He ran into my fist. I mean, he literally did that. I have it on video. I have video evidence of him being an idiot, okay? Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but it is messing with my brain, the way my brain works, that I don't actually know who's sleeping in which bed. But I don't know if it's worth the hassle of, like, trying to localise them. Because my original plan was to, like, shut them in their houses. But I actually think it's just a nicer environment having them running around, even though it makes things a bit dangerous because of ledges and stuff. But the other problem we've got is that, one, I'm not, I'm not sure who's keeping track of workstations because our toolsmith just ran off. And also, um, it's uh, tricky with just tracking them down when they run off. But also knowing who's in which bed. So like the farmers, the, 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 this is supposed to be, you know, so the Fletcher isn't sleeping in the Fletcher station. You know, it, that's, this is where the craziness starts. So the Lord knows who's sleeping up here. This guy is just hanging around up here. So I bet if I come in here, there's like loads of villages. And, right, so he hasn't even found his bed yet. I'm going to use his bed. But none of these villagers sleeping in this bed are the people that are supposed to be sleeping in this building. Right, come here and give me your trade. Let's lock you. Right, I want that sword. Thank you. I'm glad we could do business today. Yeah, you, you, you have a sword there. You're not for the... I don't have enough emeralds. Okay, so that's him locked. 
Because uh, the other, the tools, one of the toolsmiths was hanging around down here just now. So I've got 64 sticks. I'm just going to see if I can get that Fletcher unlocked to his next level. So the Fletcher, I mean, the Fletcher could be anywhere. He should go to his workstation eventually, though. So here's, this is the other toolsmith hanging around up here now. No, this is the armorer hanging around up here. I'm confused. I'm so confused. I think just let them wander. They've got their workstations. As long as I'm trading with the ones that I want to keep in their trade, I think that's all I need to do, isn't it? And then we got this guy here, who's the other toolsmith. That's the toolsmith that hates me. Because the other toolsmith, I think, likes me. I think his prices are lower. So is the Fletcher background here now? Yes. Yeah. Right, so the Fletcher likes me. Um, shall I buy a bow from you? That'll, let's buy a bow from you. And a crossbow. That's locked you, I think. Third level, here we come! Ah, oh. power two bow. Nice. Okay. I love the irony that he doesn't actually do arrows. Um, he will, however, take feathers. That twenty three feathers for an emerald, dude. Are you crazy? Okay. So power two bow. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. At least the farmers are behaving and making making babies. So that is looking pretty good. So my only concern now is that we have a homeless toolsmith. <laughs> Can't actually see him at the moment. Is that, oh look, there's two, they're both up there. They're up there having a conversation. Possibly they're having a fight. Uh, don't one of you push the other off that ledge, will you? Hang on, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's the armorer. Right, which toolsmith are you? You're the armorer. Ah! Oh boy, this is getting crazy. I might have to go back to shutting them into places. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to put a fence up there. So, where's the other toolsmith now? He was up here. Are you the other toolsmith? Right, you are the other toolsmith. Right, okay, you're still alive. This is good. I'm going to need that bell. Huh? <laughs> We're going to have to talk about that bell trade. Because <laughs> I think, my friend, uh, more drops rather than saving them. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I think we're going to have to get rid of that path as soon as the villager is off it. Let me, uh, let me grab my shovel ready. Right. So what I'm going to do, he's standing there at the moment, which is fine. So let's uh, get rid of this block and that block. Right, I'm gonna need him to go. Can I? Can I gently encourage him to go down the steps, please? No, that's one. Okay, and now can I gently encourage him? Uh, actually, he might be all right from that height. Uh, right. right. From this height, you should be all right. Right, don't move. 
We do, we do not want to repeat the fist incident. There we go. Okay, so that's the armorer with the uh, the iron farm. So we like him. I am honestly, part of me is wondering if I might be better off, especially with the armorers, just shutting them in here. <laughs> right, he's gone down, he's got ba back down to 11, so he likes me again. This guy hasn't gotten over himself yet. I mean, I did punch him, so that's understandable. And this guy, this is another armorer! What? This is another armorer. This is a different armorer. Okay, no, this is insane. I can't have. <sighs> I have different armorers now. I have two armorers. I have two arm, two armorers, two toolsmiths, and someone is phoning my phone, and I don't recognise the number, so I'm not going to answer it. It's somebody calling me about my extended warranty. Or about the accident I was in that wasn't my fault. I'm really... I really think I'm going to have to... Uh... Because if I now lock... If I now lock the new armourer... Am I going to get a third armourer? He's actually got some good traits there. Does anyone know how it works? Like, why do I now have... I've only... I've definitely only got one armourer stand, haven't I? So why... Oh, don't you start... I definitely only have one armourer's stand, so why do I have two armourers? I was convinced that it was one... Because I don't have more than one Fletcher. Do I? I'm confused. I'm, I'm very confused. Do you know what? I'm just not going to worry about it. That what I am going to do though is lock that that new that new armorer because he's got some good traits. So let's. Uh, what makes an armorer? It's a grindstone. I, I don't. I, I mean, unless there's another grindstone running around the village. If there is, it will be up here in ye old salsa district so let's just have a look right that's furnaces that's furnaces right that's the mason's place so no we don't have we don't have another grindstone running around The only thing I can think is that the well, the only thing I can think is that the AI is losing losing the station and then someone else is claiming it. And then because they're because they're uh, and then because they're locked, they're not using losing their trade. But we've definitely got multiples running around. But then I mean, in some ways, it's not too bad because multiples means more variety of trade. So I'm not going to want just one armorer. I think it's just messing with my head a bit. And it's kind of like, well, where are they sleeping? Stuff like that. They're supposed to be sleeping in the armor station. <laughs> you know, I, my, my brain works in weird ways when it comes to Minecraft. But... It's not it's not actually the end of the world having having two armorers and two toolsmiths means more armors more armor and more tools so this is good this is a good thing it's always better to have more than more than more than and more than you need so we're going to finish by locking that other armorer because he's got some good trades on him 
If I felt confident letting the village go dark, I would see where everyone was going to sleep. But to be honest, I think some of them are not actually going to a bed. I think I might have more, more villages than beds at the moment. So one of, so he hangs out up there. So he's he's very confused. He might not even have a bed. I could probably maybe put another bed in that house, seeing as we've got multiples of everything in there. I just extend out that whole that whole bedroom area and just make it a, a full bunk house. Right. So we're going to need four emeralds, which means we're going to need two stacks of sticks. So let's go grab an axe. Yeah, it's not... It's just confusing. It's highlighting how little I know about Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to put... Right. Ironically, you can't actually you actually get a crossbow from a fletcher, but never mind. So we're just gonna put in all the tools and weapons that we're not using at the moment. And we're going to finish up for the day by getting four emeralds. So I'm gonna need another stack of sticks. I never did grab an axe. <laughs> I was there to grab an axe. That's like walking in, you know when you walk into the shops and then walk out with everything except the thing you need. I just did the I just did the Minecraft equivalent of that. Right. So yeah, here's our here's our armorer and one of our toolsmiths. So that's the toolsmith that hates me. And the other toolsmith is up there. Looking like a toolsmith. He's very proud. Look at him. Look at him up there. Just observing the world. Contemplating life. Wondering, why am I a toolsmith when I don't have a workstation? <laughs> My workstation was taken by another. And yet I only have one Fletcher. I wonder if maybe some of the trades, maybe some of the Minecraft professions are more likely to have multiples. I don't know. I think some of it's going to just have to come from trial and error. It's, I think for me, it's like, I used to know villagers back to front. Like the old villager mechanics, 1.8 onwards, I was just an ex. I could get villagers, I could get villagers working underground. I had an underwater village, you know, it was, that was kind of my thing. That was my speciality. And now I'm like, back in school <laughs> I do not understand the new villager mechanics at all but I'm learning okay we'll do that and then we'll make this we'll make this it for the day because I gotta go downtown Right, that should be enough. That should get us six emeralds. Uh, hello! And now we begin the, to play my favourite game, Hunt the Fletcher. My god, he's here. Hello. Uh, right, let's get your... Da -da, da -da, da -da. Thank you. Okay, thanking you. And now we got to find that armorer so we can get his uh, trade. Is this a thunderstorm? It is not. Let's see if you're doing glowstone today. What? Do I look like someone that needs spruce saplings? You do not know how to how to read your target audience, my friend. That is like setting snow to an Eskimo. Right, hello. Right, you're the toolsmith. You're the one that hates me. You're the arm right, you're the weaponsmith. I've already traded with you. You are the armorer that I wanted to speak to. Let's discuss boots, my friend. I will take those. I will take those booties from you. Thank you. We 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 will be good friends, yeah?
Okay. You okay? You doing okay up here, dude? And there's the other toolsmith. He's the one with the bell. We like him. And that's the other armorer. That's the one that that's my my um iron farm armorer. So they're both doing leggings, which is a bit awkward. He does leggings, the other one does leggings. They're both doing leggings, but they might do different they might do different armor later on. So we'll just roll with it. It's not it, it it's well I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I'm confused because only because we've only got the one workstation, so I don't understand how one workstation has produced two of everything. And I don't like not knowing things. Look at these villagers up here playing on the hill. So because if nothing else, if we suddenly wind up with like 16 armorers, we're not going to have enough villagers to play. We're going to need librarians. I need librarians eventually. So. You don't suppose it was because I... When I placed the work... You don't suppose it's when I placed the workstation and then I had like three different villagers follow it? No, that wouldn't have done it. Because they would have just looked, they, they wouldn't have been able to see the workstation up there, it's too far away. I think I'm going to walk away from this mystery. Two armorers and two tool um two weaponsmiths is better than none. Uh two toolsmiths, sorry, is better than none in those categories. So the are uh, the goal for today The goal for today was to get an armorer and a weaponsmith. And I have now got two in some cases. So I think this when I said we're gonna make a bunkhouse, I think we're actually at the stage now where we need to make that bunkhouse. I have enough wool on me to make another bed. Because it's going to get very crowded in here. I wish you could make bunk beds for villagers. Because that would be pretty cool then. So this is like... We're going to have to extend this out into the hill a bit more, I think. If we're not careful, we're going to hit the stairs. <laughs> but... We've definitely got more people living in here. And working in here than it was originally intended for. Look, they can't even get through the door. There we go. They managed. They got there in the end. It took them a while, but they figured it out. Congratulations. You've discovered the art of navigation. Have I actually locked you yet? I don't think I have. I might as well now that you're here. I'll have that hoe. Now that your prices are back down. Now that you've stopped hating me. And then this guy is the weaponsmith with the really cool sword. That's now my sword, and the other armor was running around here just now. I think he went this way. No, he didn't. He's gone. So yeah, if anyone is, if anyone, anyone sees this video later and is like, "Oh, I know why that's happened," please let me know. <laughs> At least they will run around the bell eventually. It's like if you can't find them, just look look around the bell. They'll get there eventually. So I've got I've got two armorers, two toolsmiths, but only one weaponsmith. Mysteries. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call that it for the day. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed the stream as much as I have. And uh, there will be another stream tonight because I'm taking part in this uh, fort, uh, shiny box Fortnite uh, thing that we're not calling a tournament because we don't want it to be competitive. And... 
more snow escape derps next week. I don't know what my what my next mission's going to be though. I suppose we keep saying bunkhouse and set fence the second level, so I think it's going to have to be just like we're going to have to concentrate on making the second level a bit a bit more secure. And then I think what I also want to do is get those cows that I saw over yonder living here so we'll make a cow pen as well and that could be a butcher's station then see they're, they're taking damage they're taking da oh i need to right these steps i need to get rid of these steps don't i right okay here's what i think i need to get rid of these steps so that's uh I'm gonna do that now when I'm thinking about it. <gasps> Nearly. I suppose it'd be interesting to just run around quickly and see who's in which bed. Having done the outro. Having done the outro, I'm now gonna do a bit more stream. I'm I'm just gonna run around and see who's going into which bed. So we can sort of get an idea of where we need more beds. So there's loads of villagers hanging around in here, but only three beds. Even though, all right, oh no, there are villagers in these beds here. Okay, so that's good. So we need more beds down here in the agricultural bit. There's a spare bed in there. So no one's using that bed. Even though he's hanging around here. So is he trying to get to that bed, but then he can't figure out that he's got to go all the way around? Is that what's happening? Can, he, can his AI not handle? I bet, I bet if I gave him a window, he'd get in that bed. I think his AI just can't handle pathing to the bed. No, because he's still not managing. I don't know. I don't know. So we've got a shepherd that hangs around behind his house. There's a cat up there. And over here, Iron Golem's on patrol. That's what we like to see. So what's, what's happening in here? So we've only got two people sleeping in here. Oh my God. Why are they not finding the beds? So they're all hanging out. They're all hanging out in the Fletcher's station. And then up here in the Salsa district, there's a trader. Right, so he's in that bed there. Mason is in that bed there. This guy doesn't know how doors work. See, that's the armourer in there. Oh my god, now the trader's gone in there. Ah! Oh well. As long... So we need, we need about, I think it's not necessarily a problem of not having enough beds. It's that they're not finding the beds that we have. Because there's like four villagers in there. <laughs> so, everyone likes the Fletcher house. It's very bizarre. So build a bunk house might be back on the menu. I want a bro 
right side though, I don't think we had anything spawn. I certainly didn't hear it. None of my villagers appear to have turned into zombies. So that's good. We've got loads of iron golems patrolling if things do spawn in, which is good. Uh, a big sort of mansion for villagers and their trades. That's what we need. I basically need to rebuild Captain Blinky's base from Pillow Fort, don't I? Just the great big mansion. It's I'm kind of umming and ahhing now because I really like just having free roaming villagers like this. I just think it's really cool. But I'm worried that it's going to create more problems in the future. But then is it, is it really causing problems? I mean, with the exception of the fact that I have to do a little bit of looking around to find them. And apparently they lose their station and then someone else claims the station and then suddenly I have two of everything. Which is actually a good thing, having two armourers and two toolsmiths. So really, maybe the only thing that's making it a problem is me. I could have them free roaming in a massive house. That is the other option. I'm glad these two are making friends. So yeah, we definitely need we definitely need more more bedding, I think. But then not all the beds in here were being used. So I think some of the problem is an AI issue as well. Like the shepherd was hanging around behind his house instead of going into his bed. So maybe the shepherd needs a back door into his house. I even wonder if we've got more farmers running around down there than we have composters. One, two, three, four, five. Right, no, we don't. See? He can get into the house. He's in the house right now. He knows how to get into the house. He's just a duh. I am going I'm going to walk away from the problem. We'll figure it out. The important thing is that the mission for today was accomplished. I have an armourer and a weaponsmith. And Mason has stopped using my bed. Which is also a good thing. I should probably trade with Mason at some point and unlock his trades. Right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. We're calling that it for the day. Guys, <laughs> outro number two. Thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you later. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.